Hi, this is Gary with MacMost Now. On today's episode, let me show you how to export bookmarks from Safari. So, I'm on vacation today and I'm in Paris. And one of the things I did before I got here was I searched all over the internet for information, recommendations, things like that, and I saved them all as bookmarks. And this was great to have, but once I'm home, I don't need to have those bookmarks right there and accessible in Safari. So, I want to export them just to save them. And you can do this several very useful ways. So if I want to start a collection of bookmarks, um, I should go view them. I can do show all bookmarks here or press that bookmarks button that's there. Let's create a new folder for bookmarks. I'll call it simply Paris. And now I'll just start adding sites. So uh, I'll just create some sample sites here. For instance, uh, there's the Wikipedia page. Um, and then I will go ahead and add bookmark and I will add it to this new folder here. And then I'll go and add a whole bunch more. So now I've added a bunch here. Uh, you notice that when I did create this I created it in my bookmarks bar. So I've got them all easily accessible here which is something you may be doing. Um, if I had created them outside of the bookmarks bar simply in the bookmarks menu then they wouldn't be in the bar there. They'd be over here. Either way I can now get easy access to this list of cool links here. Now the idea is I want to archive these. I'm going to use that export option and I'm going to archive these. Maybe I'm done with my trip or maybe I'm going on my trip but I'm not taking this computer with me and I just want to have access to this set of links. So I could select it and I can go ahead and then go to File and Export Bookmarks. And what it will do is it will create this HTML file. I'll call it Paris Bookmarks and I will save it. And now I've got this little HTML file here. And when I look at it, I see all my bookmarks that I've created, including the list here under Paris. So everything's organized just as it is in my bookmarks. Now the cool thing is that this is a regular HTML page. If I double click it, it will actually open up in Safari here as a regular web page. I can also save this HTML file to a web server that I've got or some pseudo web server like say uh, a Dropbox uh, file that I can access publicly um, and then I can access it from any computer. It's just a plain HTML file. Now here's another cool thing I can do. I can select, not the folder, but select everything in there just by uh, selecting the first one and then shift selecting the last one or vice versa. And I have them all selected. I can do edit, copy. Now I'm going to go to text edit, create a new document, a new rich text document and paste it in and I get the links here in text edit. And I can save this file out and it's basically a simple word processing file with active links. So very easy handy thing again to put uh, on a website uh, or Dropbox or uh, put on a flash drive and carry it with you. And here's one more thing you can do. You can from the bookmarks list here drag this folder to the finder and it will put a folder there and in that folder a list of web links. All You can just double click on any one to jump to it. So this technique is useful whether or not you're collecting bookmarks for a reason like my vacation here or whether you just collect them naturally and every once in a while you want to offload them so you have an archive of them but you don't have them hanging around on Safari all the time. So I hope you found this useful. Till next time, this is Gary with MacMost Now. Want more video tutorials? Just go to MacMost.com, click on the videos link at the top of the page and then you can view all of the hundreds of MacMost videos by category.